Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D Printing, and today I'm going to be reviewing some of Filicube's Mint Blue PLA filament. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. First of all, I just want to say Happy New Year, and I really hope you guys had a great Christmas and a great New Year's. Um, welcome to 2019, and hopefully uh, this channel will grow a lot more in this year. I'm super excited to create some more videos for you guys, definitely a lot more filament reviews, and hopefully some new machine reviews. Um, but let's get right on to this cool filament review. So, Filicube sent me some of their filament um, to review, but also to help me out with my arms and hand project. Uh, now, as you guys know, I did not ship anything out on or in December um, because that was just a break month. Um, and then this month and then for the rest of the month, I will be shipping out more. So definitely this color will be seen in uh, one of my newer months of, hands of the month videos. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to that because this color is great. Um, so first starting off with the box, they have their nice little logo up here. Um, and then they also have um, 3D printing filament, which they definitely let you know what it is. Um, they also have their uh, links on here for their URL where you can purchase this and then also their support um, email in here so if you need any help with it you can definitely email them um, on the side here it says PLA2 uh, mint blue one kilogram and then just a scanner I'm not sure what PLA2 means um, but uh, I mean it may be different from just regular PLA but again it has their information here just like it does on the front and then uh, just some regular stuff over here on the side um, also on the back there shows uh, the formula, the anti-clog, stuff like that, just a whole bunch of different um, things. So definitely read this if you purchase a box of their filament. It's actually pretty cool to read. Um, and then the bottom stuff is just my information. Um, but let's just open up the box. Uh, again, I really do like this box. And it's not like a normal um, PLA box or any filament box that opens up like this. It just opens from the top and you can pull it right out. So already looking at this, I do really love the color. Um, it looks really nice. This is probably one of, gonna be one of my favorite um, favorite colors. Now uh, this is actually, this filament was uh, given to me by tinymachines3d.com. Um, uh, starting off looking at the spool, it kind of looks like the PLAS or PLAS 3D uh, spools, but, but in black version, um, just a plain spool. And now there's only uh, two spots to put your filament one here and then one on this side over here so again uh, with these kind of spools the cheaper spools there aren't really any uh, spots to put your filament when it's done so you can either either use tape or you can also um, use a drill to drill some new ones but just a plain spool uh, so let's go ahead and open this up it does not look like a Ziploc bag but as you guys know I do not store these in Ziploc bags just because I think that there's no need to and I've had um, definitely success with not storing them in their bags so I'm just gonna open this and then we can check out the filament roll so opening it up and pulling it out of the bag there is a giant desk and pack in there so I'll definitely save this for um, some of my nylon filament that I have um, but this looking at this the winding is not perfect but that is there's no problem with that um, I think the only perfect winding I've ever seen was some PLAS 3d or PLAS 3d filament um, but other than that, this spooling looks pretty good. It's like a shiny mixture and a matte mixture filament. The texture is really smooth. Um, it looks really nice. And the camera does not do justice on how well this looks. As you can see, it's just great. It's actually brighter than it looks on camera. Um, but then there's two stickers. So first one here just says um, PLA2. It basically just says the same sticker on the box as it is on here. And then on the other side, it says the tiny machines um, little sticker here. Uh, so again, just a plain spool. The spooling looks good and I'm really super excited to uh, print with this. I'm gonna do a lot more than just my test prints um, just cause this is actually a really nice color and I'm gonna try print some accessories for my office in here. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit uh, after we're done printing all these prints. All right guys, welcome back. So I've actually only printed four prints so far, but I will um, be printing a couple more prints just to show off more of the features of this really cool filament. But first starting off, I have the two uh, strength tests uh, for this cool filament. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, uh, the print quality was a little weird on um, my printer. Uh, and I don't really think it's the printer. I think it was the filament or the settings or something. 
but um, they are still super strong, and again, we will still be doing the normal tests for these. Um, but then I also made just a little uh, uh, Christmas ornament of my um, little new kind of test print, um, all besides the Maker Coin. Um, and now I'm going to be actually making the keychain versions instead of this, the giant ones, because the giant ones do the same as the little ones, and these ones are a little bit more useful. So I will be showing you guys this and then also my normal maker coin. But just starting out looking at these prints normally, this color is probably one of my favorite colors now. Um, it is very vibrant and um, more of like a pastel green color. Um, but the name is a mint green. And it is actually a super cool color and I definitely do recommend it just by the color and also the print quality looks really great so uh, let's check out these prints up close and then I'll print a couple more prints off to show you guys a little bit more in detail what this filament does so let's get right to that alright so starting off with uh, this little uh, keychain or just uh, ornament it's just a tiny little one now this one was not printed with support um, or a raft which I usually print it with raft um, so basically it just tells you how well the overhangs do on here and it did pretty good now as you can kind of see there are like little weird features in this filament um, in the print uh, and I don't really know if that was the filament um, or the uh, settings I had it in but the print quality is still pretty decent and it looks kind of cool to me um, the color again is great and I actually printed this and um, the maker coin together to also test out the stringing. Now there was a little bit of stringing but it was super easy to clean up. I guess I just have to fix my retraction settings a little bit. But next moving on to the maker coin. It looks really nice. Um, again the little weird lines. It looks like there's a little bit more of over extrusion or maybe the temperature was too hot. I did have to change it a couple times but um, this maker coin probably looks the best out of all of them. But the top layers turned out really nice um, and looking at the bottom it's a nice flat surface. Um, nice and smooth. I finally got the first um, layer on the flash really nicely. Now I did not use support on this print unfortunately because again these were printed together and this would have had support in it but I definitely didn't need that. Under here these did pretty nice um, and pretty clean without having support which is very surprising because it is a little hard to print this in support or without support uh, but other than that this maker coin turned out really cool and I definitely do like how these look in this color. So next we have our strength test that you guys know. Um, I will actually be testing these right away in the video and then I will be showing some other prints. Again, these have a lot of infill in them. Now I actually bumped it up to 80% infill just to see if it would be a little different than the other filament. Now I know they're two different PLAs. Now this is PLA2 um, and I read a little bit about it. It's just a second version of PLA, just a little bit different. Um, but not extremely different and again as you can see these weird details on here um, they're kind of funky the walls are a little bit weird and uh, that might actually just be my slicer hopefully by the end of this year um, or you guys watching this actually is uh, before 2019 or before Christmas I will be getting simplified 3d so that hopefully um, all these problems will go away but other than that these are super strong and I'm just ready to test these out so let's get right to testing these out and then we can check out uh, the normal uh, other prints. First, as you guys know, I always start out with this one. So I'm going to attempt to break this with my uh, hand. Now, I usually would just screw it down into the table. But for now, this is just going to test if I can use, break it with my hand. So again, it's 80% infill. And then now I'll just try break it this way. Um, it didn't work that way. Let's try this way. As you can see, it just snapped clearly. I took a couple seconds to break it, and it was actually a really clean break. As you can see here, the other um, filament I tested last time, it kind of broke as an angle, but this was a clean snap, um, and it looks pretty strong. It took a couple seconds again, and again, this had 80% infill, so um, it was a little bit stronger. But I think this was a nice break, and definitely, um, if you are using this for something outside with the cold, um, it will most likely break easier but also um, it could be very strong and um, if you want to use this for some kind of something that needs to be strong you can try just make sure you have enough infill and um, make sure the strength that you that will be put on to this will be um, not too much to actually make it break so now let's go and try this out with the two cranking ropes alright guys so I uh, just set up the 
test the strength test thing uh, right in front of me so I'm gonna turn the camera around and then um, I can do the crank test now again this is not any scientific um, measurements or anything I'm just cranking it to see uh, how much strength it will hold not really weighing or measuring how much strength but just cranking it and then letting uh, us see how it will break and where it will break on the torture or the strength test so let me turn the camera around and then we can start breaking things Okay, so here we are again, and then again there will be a cranking noise, which is just tightening. And always make sure you have uh, safety goggles on, because we don't know how and where this will break. So let's get right to it. All right, so let's check out where that broke. So it broke right here, and I believe this is actually the same spot uh, it broke in my last test. Now, again, this was a super clean break. There was no diagonal or anything, as you can see here. And it took actually a lot longer than the other one did. A lot of strength was actually pulled from each side and uh, definitely uh, is very strong and will hold up a lot of weight. Um, again, this was 80% infill, so a little bit more uh, than the last test filament I did. But again, this held a lot and was very strong. So if you need anything or any parts uh, printed with strong filament, this would probably be a good color and a good filament to print with. All right, guys, so I printed uh, another print. Now, this is just a plain um, cookie cutter for Christmas. I'm actually giving it to somebody for a gift. Um, but I think that this quality of this filament is just great. So like as I showed you guys earlier, the quality on the strength tests were not great. And that was because I accidentally had it on 230 degrees um, printing and um, it should be at 210. So I dialed that in, changed that. And um, as you guys can see here, these are some beautiful lines. They are actually pretty great and turn out very, very nice. Uh, I think they they look amazing and you can barely see them. It's nice and smooth. There is no bumps or anything and I think it looks great. So I am also printing um, some parts for my Tronix YX1. Just some replacement parts because some of them broke and uh, that is printing right over here um, on my Tiva Flash. And I'm also printing some pieces for one of my subscribers. He uh, bought a Tron XY, uh, X1 or won it. I'm not really uh, sure on where, how he got it, but he uh, contacted me on my Instagram, which you guys can do if you need any help with anything. There will be a link to it in the description below. Um, and also to my Twitter, but he contacted me, asked if I could make him some prints because his Tron XY X1 was his first printer and he needed those upgrade prints um, because, again, this is a DIY printer, so it's really not the greatest and it did need some tweaking um, for the, the Z-axis and stuff like that. So I'm printing some out for him also and then just a couple new ones for me. So I will uh, show those at the end of the video and then also... Um, those will be the only or the last prints with this filament again i did the tests and then just a couple extra ones just to see uh how strong this filament is again and just the quality of it because it is a very very nice color and i definitely know that fill cube makes great filament so i really recommend it already not even finished with the video but this filament is really great and definitely go buy it, it will be in the link in the description below um, definitely don't forget to go down there and click on that and buy some uh, it is really cool. So let's move on with the video and then we can finish it all up. Alright guys, welcome back. So uh, I finished printing everything and it all looks amazing. Um, I'm not going to do any really close-ups again of what these prints look like because you will be able to see um, just with this facing camera. Um, I did print a lot. Again, I printed some um, upgrade parts for a uh, Tron XY X1 and they all turned out great. And then I also made this little spinny uh, cap thing which was probably one of my first ever prints that I ever printed when I had my first printer um, and I actually printed it in ABS so I decided to try it again and scale it up a little bit so I did print that here um, and uh, I just printed some extra things um, again some more upgrades this filament is really great and looks really nice and I will definitely be using this in my office here for maybe a pencil holder or anything I have all my printers running right now so if you can hear them I do apologize for that um, but let's get right into all these prints and basically what they look like. So starting off, uh, this is just the twisty cap thing. It is a little bright here. 
Um, and it turned out really nice. There were uh, kind of gaps and stuff here. I'm not really sure why, but I think it turned out really cool. Um, it was most likely my temperature problem. The bottom part here you can see is very shiny. I finally cleaned off my TiVo flash bed, um, all the goo and all the old hairsprays off, and then I cleaned it and now uh, put a clean layer of hairspray on it and has this very, very nice shiny um, look on the bottom. And then again, these screw together and it fits very nicely. Not really sure why the person designed it to where it doesn't go down all the way. It has a gap here and there just isn't enough space in here. But these printed like this and I finally got my retraction settings down. So there was no stringing at all, at all when they were printing like this. Um, so that is this cool little print. Next, these are just a couple of the upgrades that I made. Now these are both uh, belt tensioners. Now you can also use this on other printers like the Tron XYX1 and I will have a link to all of these upgrades and all of the prints down in the description below so you guys can go print these if you would like. And then this is a like a bed tensioner so this is where the wheels would be and um, because the Tron XY um, X1 has some weird uh, wheel problems like the bed would wiggle you just put this in there and then tighten this to separate uh, or make the um, the wheels come closer and very tight on the rails um, so these are very good upgrades again I will be sending these to one to one of my subscribers um, and I think it's really cool that these colors came out this color came out very nice with these cool little prints so that is actually all for the prints um, again I hope you guys enjoyed this video as you can see here it was quite a bit or quite a lot of filming I'm still going to actually be printing more things more upgrades and more cool things in my office and I might actually post some uh, pictures on my Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to check those links out down in the description below. Again, everything I printed here will be in the description below. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I am really happy that I'm back to doing some uh, filament reviews and there will be a lot more to come. Again, I still have a lot of uh, other reviews to make and hopefully some new machines. Um, again, Happy New Year and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.